Manhattan is a city brimming with skyscrapers that pierce the sky and define its iconic skyline. And amidst the towering giants that adorn the iconic Manhattan skyline, a new chapter is being written by J.P. Morgan Chase. The bustling landscape of skyscrapers in Manhattan is about to witness a transformative addition, as J.P. Morgan Chase is reshaping the cityscape with its cutting-edge headquarters. In response to the growing demand for eco-friendly structures, the upcoming skyscraper is not only set to be an impressive 1,387 feet with 60 stories, but is also poised to become Manhattan's first all-electric tower, boasting net-zero operational emissions. The innovative design goes beyond the norm, prioritizing indoor air quality and aiming to surpass industry standards in sustainability, health and wellness. Situated between Madison and Park Avenues and 47th and 48th Streets, this structure is set to redefine the landscape of corporate buildings in the heart of New York City. So, join us as we embark on a riveting exploration of J.P. Morgan Chase's revolutionary headquarters, the first all-electric tower. Dive into the heart of sustainable architecture and witness the future of the corporate landscape unfold before your eyes. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's start with the overarching goal of this project. Crafted by Foster & Partners, the 270 Park Avenue building is set to revolutionize New York City's skyline. This is not just another architectural marvel, it will earn the title of the city's largest all-electric tower, boasting net-zero operational emissions and unrivaled indoor air quality that goes above and beyond industry sustainability, health and wellness benchmarks. This visionary project marks the inception of New York City's pioneering Midtown East rezoning plan, a forward-thinking initiative encouraging the construction of contemporary office spaces and enhancements to the public realm and transportation infrastructure within the business district. With a commitment to providing a workplace aligned with 21st century needs, the skyscraper will offer 2.5 million square feet of flexible and collaborative space equipped with state-of-the-art technology. What are some of the financial benefits of the new construction? In addition to shaping the future of corporate landscapes, J.P. Morgan Chase's investment in this project solidifies its position as one of New York's major employers, contributing significantly to the local economy. Beyond the confines of its immediate project, J.P. Morgan Chase is reinforcing its dedication to the city by making substantial investments in infrastructure and transit improvements working closely with the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. As the towering achievement nears its completion in 2025, all eyes are on the transformative impact it is poised to make. During its construction, this visionary project has been a catalyst for economic vitality. The construction has employed more than 5,000 construction workers from 40 local unions. This surge in activity is anticipated to inject a substantial economic boost, translating to $2.6 billion for New York City and an impressive $3.6 billion for the broader New York State. Beyond the economic implications, the new headquarters aim to redefine the workplace for an outstanding 14,000 employees, a departure from the outdated facility designed in the late 1950s for a mere 3,500 individuals. In a nod to modern urban planning, the building will offer 2.5 times more ground-level outdoor space along Park and Madison Avenues. This includes broader sidewalks and a sizable public plaza on Madison Avenue, featuring natural green spaces and amenities tailored for the neighborhood's residents, workers and visitors. The architectural concept is not merely about constructing a building, it aspires to be a timeless addition to Park Avenue paying homage to the city's iconic architectural history. This structure, designed to be a powerful symbol for the next generation of office towers in New York, utilizes a state-of-the-art structural system to navigate site constraints both below and at ground level. The ingenious fan column structure and triangular bracing of 270 Park delicately connect with the ground across the entire block, lifting it about 80 feet off the ground and extending the viewpoint from the Park Avenue entrance to Madison Avenue. It's a harmonious blend of innovation, sustainability and a tribute to the city's rich architectural legacy. What are some of the sustainable designs used in the construction? Setting a new standard for eco-conscious skyscrapers, 
270 Park Avenue building is poised to become New York City's largest all-electric marvel, relying entirely on renewable energy harnessed from a local hydroelectric plant in New York State. Going beyond carbon neutrality, this architectural gem integrates state-of-the-art building technology and systems for maximum efficiency. The building's commitment to sustainability is evident in its deployment of intelligent building technology. Harnessing the power of sensors, AI and machine learning, it will predict, respond and adapt to energy needs, ensuring optimal usage. Advanced water storage and reuse systems take center stage, curbing water usage by 40%. The facade is adorned with triple-pane glazing and automatic solar shades intricately connected to HVAC systems to enhance energy efficiency. Adding a touch of green to the urban landscape, outdoor terraces are designed to feature natural green spaces and plantings. This contributes to the aesthetic appeal and aligns with the project's overarching commitment to sustainability. How will this building revolutionize the workspace? JP Morgan Chase is at the forefront of redefining the modern workplace, prioritizing a flexible design around health, wellness and hospitality. In this ambitious endeavor, the financial giant has enlisted the expertise of luminaries such as Dr. Joseph Allen from Harvard University's Healthy Buildings Program, Dr. Deepak Chopra, the Authority on Wellness, and Danny Meyer of Union Square Hospitality Group. The commitment to employee well-being is evident with a 50% increase and a 25% augmentation in the volume of space per person, offering an array of choices in how and where employees work. The building will also have a state-of-the-art health and wellness center. This comprehensive facility encompasses fitness areas, yoga and cycling rooms, physical therapy, medical services, modern mother's rooms, and dedicated spaces for prayer and meditation. A world-class conference center also crowns a 60-story tower, providing unobstructed city views and hosting dynamic events for clients and employees. Now, how much will it cost? The anticipated cost of constructing 270 Park Avenue building comes with a reported price tag of $3 billion, as revealed by Reuters. However, JP Morgan Chase has chosen not to officially confirm the total cost. To put this into perspective, the company's gross profit in 2022 amounted to nearly $129 billion, indicating a substantial commitment to financing the building independently. What is the current status of the project? In terms of progress, the construction has reached a significant milestone with the completion of framing. Builders are now in the process of installing the tower's distinctive glass curtain wall. The ambitious timeline aims for employees to commence work at the new headquarters by the close of 2025, marking the completion of this groundbreaking project. Now that we've explored the groundbreaking features of JP Morgan Chase's 270 Park Avenue, what are your thoughts on the future of corporate architecture? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you found this journey intriguing, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on innovative design, cutting edge technology and the latest mega constructions. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Until then, keep envisioning a future where sustainability meets sophistication. Thanks for joining us on this architectural adventure.